बिसमीम असल वेलकम टू माई यूट्यूब चैनल डाइवर्सिटी ऑफ प्लान्ट जोन इन दिस चैनल यू कैन ईजिली फाइंड आउट इंफॉर्मेशन रिलेटेड टू द प्लान्स एंड देयर डाइवर्सिटी थ्रू आउट द वर्ल्ड माई टूरिस्ट टॉपिक इज़ अबाउट हिस्ट्री ऑफ द प्लान टेक्सोनमी सो लेट स्टार्ट दीडियो फर्स्ट ऑफ ऑल आई एम गोइंग टू डिस्कस अबाउट द टेक्सोनमी What is meant by taxonomy? Taxonomy is the classification of organisms in a system that shows relationship characteristics of organism is called taxonomy. Now I am going to discuss about the introduction. Taxonomy starts from the ancient China herbalist that classify and organize the plants identifying its characteristics and interrelationship. Egyptians, Greeks and French also made their contributions. As Aristotle, one of his contribution was to divide animals in without blood and with blood or as Theophrastus and Dioscorides. Other Greeks like the Theophrastus who wrote the historian plant Aram which contained 480 species was based on the growth form and we still recognize many of his plants and reeds like narcissus crocus and cronus or as dioscorides that give the excellent descriptions of nearly 600 plants including cannabis colchicum water hemlock and peppermint are contained in the materia medica on the other hand in the 16th century some french scientists as linnaeus and plinius made their great contributions plinius contribute with many books but the only one that has survived in his naturalism historian a work of the 160 volumes in which he described the several plants and gave them latin names he was also called the father of the botanical latin on the other hand the simplicity of the linnaeus trivial names also revolutionized nomenclature and so in binary nomenclature has become to replace the phrase names which is also called the binary system Now I am going to discuss about the earliest taxonomy the history taxonomy is as old as the language skill of mankind so when we speak about the ancient taxonomy we usually mean the history in the western world however the earliest traces are not from the west but from the east shenong empire of china around 3000 before christ he was a legendary empire known as the father of chinese medicine and is believed to have introduced a cough puncture around 1500 before christ medicinal plants were illustrated on the wall paintings in egypt the paintings gives us knowledge about the medicinal plants in old egypt and their names In one of the oldest and largest papyrus rolls, Ebers papyrus, plants are included as medicines for the different diseases. Pre-Linnaeus period, organized plant classification system was absent in pre-Linnaeus period. The Greeks classified the plants on the basis of the habits or their economic importance. so their system is called the herbalist system of the classification some of the greek taxonomists were theophrastus the time period was 370 to 287 before christ pliny the elder 23 to 79 anno domini dioscorides first century anno domini magnus 1193 to 1280 Bohun 1541 to 1631 John Ray 1628 to 1705 The Greeks and the Romans 
first i am going to discuss about the aristotle aristotle the great philosopher was the first to classify all the living things which he called animals with blood or without blood such as insects crustaceans and mollusks second i am going to discuss about the theophrastus theophrastus time period was 370 to 285 before christ he was the student of the aristotle and plato he wrote to all known classification of the plants the historian plant arum which contained about 480 species his classification was based on the growth form and we still recognize many of his plant genres like the narcissus crocus and cronus Theophrastus This is accepted by the Carolus Linnaeus because many of his generic names Dioscorides Dioscorides was a Greek physician he gathered the knowledge about medicine and plants between 50 to 70 in Domini he wrote the De materia medica which contained around 600 species Dioscorides the classification in his work is based on the medicine and properties of the species Next is Plinius Plinius the time period was 23 to 79 Anno Domini he wrote many books but the only one that has survived in his naturalism historian was a work of 160 volumes in which he described about the several plants and gave them latin names He is also called the father of the botanical Latin. The herbalists. There is usually not much of a classification in the herbals, and the earliest works were merely copying Theophrastus and Dioscorides. With the time, the herbals became more and more original, with more elaborate woodcuts as illustrations. Early taxonomists. replacement of the greek taxo it was not until the end of the 16th century that taxonomic work became original enough to replace the ancient greek works one of the reasons for this was the development of the optic lenses which made it possible to study the details in the different species the first taxonomist one of the earliest author was Cecil Pino 1519 to 1603 was the time period in Italy who is sometimes called the first taxonomist in 1583 he wrote De plants a work that contained about 1500 species next the brothers bohin two swiss brothers bohin 1541 to 1631 and 1560 to 1624 they wrote the work phoenix theatre botanici in 1623 the word phoenix means the register and the work is a listing of 6000 species the species were known with many different names in the different books and the phoenix Theatre Botanici made a welcome order in the taxonomic world. Next is about John Ray, the English naturalist John Ray. The time period was 1627 to 1705. He wrote the several important works through his life. The most important contribution was the establishment of the species as the ultimate unit of the taxonomy. In 1682 he published the Methodus Plantarum Nova which contained around 18000 plant species a result of a relatively narrow species concept Next topic is about the Linnean era starting point of the modern taxonomy For nomenclatural reasons the two works of the Carolus Linnaeus The time period was 1707 to 
are regarded as the the trivial names were intended for the field work and education and not to replace the earlier phrase names the phrase names included a description of the species that distinguished it from the other non species in the genus with an expanded knowledge of the global fauna and flora through the 17th and 18th century scientific expeditions a large number of the new species were found and named the more terms had to be added to each phrase name by the time of the linnaeus the situation was really bad linnaeus counted about 8530 species of flowering plants in 1753 starting points of the modern botanical and zoological zoological taxonomy the global flora species plantrum published in 1753 and the 10th edition of systema naturae in 1758 including global fauna the reason for this is that the linnaeus introduced in these books a binary form of species which is called trivial names for both plants and animals for each species he created an epithet that could be used together with a genus name the simplicity of the linnaeus trivial names revolutionized the nomenclature and soon binary nomenclature came to replace the phrase names today every plant or animal name published before 1753 to 1758 respectively and is called the pre-linnean and is thus not valid carolus linnaeus carolus linnaeus as we already discussed about it carolus linnaeus started his career by publishing the system of all the living things and minerals in 1735 called system nature stamens and pistils in this he introduced the sexual system of the plant an artificial classification which is based on the sexual parts of the flower the stamens and pistils in a time when a people debated where the plants had sexuality or not this suggestion from an unknown person not belonging to any classical european school of natural sciences more or less shocked the scientific world however the practical use of the system and linnaeus careful observations persuaded the criticists and linnaeus sexual system of plants became the highest fashion also outside the scientific community stamens and the pistils as shown in the figure next i am going to discuss about the bernard de jussieu and laurent de jussieu bernard de jussieu 1699 to 1777 and laurent de jussieu tried to improve the system of classification of linnaeus they introduced the natural system of the classification Bernard de Jussieu and the Laurent de Jussieu as shown in the figure Next is Agustin Perrin de Candolle 1718 to 1841 was the time period He tried to improve classification system of the Jussieu They divided the plants into 213 orders According to him physiological characters were useless for classification therefore they only used the morphological characters for their classification system it means that their classification system only depends upon morphological characteristics agustin perrin de candolle 1718 to 1841 was the time period as shown in the figure Next is Robert Brown. The time period was 1773 to 1849. He differentiated between the angiosperms, angiosperm means the flowering plants, and gymnosperm plants. Gymnosperms are the non-flowering plants. He also discovered the nucleus in the cell. 
Next is Bentham and Hooper. The time period was 1817 to 1911. They were the British protagonist and they gave their own classification system. Next is Charles Durbin. Time period was 1809 to 1882. He represented his theory of natural selection. It introduced the concept of the evolution in his classification system. Next is Wilhelm Hofmeister. 1824-1877 was the time period. He discovered the phenomena of the alternation of generation in the lower plants. So, it helped in the classification. Wilhelm Eichlau, 1839-1887. Wilhelm Eichlau. He introduced the phylogenetic trend in the plant classification. Next is Adolf Engler and Krull Prentel. 1849-1893 was the time period. Their system of classification was based on the phylogenetic consideration. Next is Charles Edwin Bessie. 1845 to 1915 was the time period. He modified the Bentham and Hooker's classification system and made this system phylogenetic. Robert Whitaker, 1969. Robert Whitaker, 1969. He introduced the five system classification system, five kingdom classification system and he removed the algae bacteria and fungi from the plants. He is famous for introducing the Five Kingdoms classification system. Next is about Margulis and Schwartz. 1988 was the time period. They modified the criteria of the classification of Five Kingdom system. If you like my video, please like and subscribe to my channel. Thanks for watching.